Hey, basket makers. How y'all doing? Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all out here in these streets. Y'all like me. Can't sit still and make a damn, um, make a dang on gift. I know, child. It's, it's, a, it's hard when the sales is selling. You got to get out here and get them sales. Okay? Okay, so... I know I have been seeing some amazing hauls, y'all. I haven't been able to sit still long, and I need to do better. Look, I got tape everywhere. That's why my table messed up. But, y'all, whoo, it's hard, it's hard, it's hard out in these basket maker streets, Okay. But we, I'm, I'm, I, I need to do these hauls because I really want to share. And I know a lot of people have already shared these things, but I'm just sharing you some of the things that I was able to pick up. I'm going to break this haul down into three different um, categories. So that way I'm going to do what I hauled so far for women from Family Dollar. This is Family Dollar, y'all. And what uh, I have hauled for kids and children and then i'm gonna do my final haul which is gonna be my men stuff so that way and the first thing that i'm gonna share is kind of it's gonna go multiple most you can use it multiple different ways it's just so happened i had all of them sitting here on the table so i'm just gonna make that part of the women's haul because it's not a big haul y'all as far as for the women but when you see the breakdown and why I did the breakdown, that way I can move all of this women stuff or all of that out of my way, kids stuff out of my way, so I can get started. Now, I do remember, you know, I have, when I start making gifts, I start making. I keep making it to the day of. Uh, I just don't stop, you know, because the ideas just start coming and coming and coming. And because of that, I've all, I always have an overage. And I'm fine with that because I know how my schedule works. So it just flows into the next one. That's why, yes, I do make some stuff that may, um, some things that may say Happy Father's Day or something like that. But the majority of my gifts, I make them where they can flow from one holiday to the next holiday. Because we got three holidays that we most definitely use me and gifts in. And that, of course, Father's Day. Um, Christmas and then Valentine. So I try to keep them like that. So it is going to be a couple of more hauls because I am still on the lookout. Matter of fact, I haven't even pulled some things I remember, you know, just offhand, but I haven't even pulled my Father's Day boxes to see because I still got all this Mother's Day, you know, this woman stuff you know, up in here. So I got to get it out of here or at least all of on that side so I can be able to, you know, start staging my table. Have y'all ever, this is a side note, but like I had some stuff still staged up, some stuff I never did even get to do because the ideas was coming and, you know, these are in addition to gifts, you know, and some was actually part of the core gift concept, but I never completed all of them because I had some in addition to that had like similar things like the bath wraps. Remember, I don't know if y'all remember, but I had an orange um, or a peach bath wrap. So I had some of those. So, you know, if I did, if I didn't make all the pink ones, I, the orange kind of helped balance that number. But, y'all, I've been in these streets every day. It's like I get up. First thing I want to do is just go and get myself together and get out in these streets and go look for some sales. Because the sales are selling. Because as I say, you got to get to sell when it's going on because it don't wait for no one. And, you know, hey, get in and get what you need. And if it's all of it, you got to take all of it, you know, so it ain't nothing there. But this first item, y'all, I'm going to share... Um, when I first went out, I found, I think I found maybe about seven of these and then 
I promise you, I started coming across so many of these. So they still out here, y'all. I promise you, they still out here. I left a lot because I said, you know, I got to a certain number and I just went on and said, you know, Joy, leave it so somebody who coming behind you looking for this item or looking for their little deal or whatever, it feels good when you run across something that you've been seeing on the internet and you actually find it, right? So the first item I'm going to share with y'all, y'all, is these cutting boards, right? Okay, and it's a two-pack, y'all, so you get the small one. Now, I'm going to tell you, just a FYI, this small one, Dollar Tree, not yeah, Dollar Tree have one this size similar. And if you ever go over onto the food aisle, they have like the little miniature jellies, mustards. Uh, even one time they had the little summer sausages. Uh, if you snacks, they have the crackers that you can build a charcuterie board. Y'all don't come for me if I didn't say that right. Just know that's how I got to say it, okay? But these, you know, the small one is the ones that I would do with a charcuterie board. I would do a little small cider, a little wine glass, maybe a little face mask um, concept in one of those, um, one of the Dollar Tree gift boxes or baskets or something like that. So it's just, you know, something. So if you see these and, you know, if you want to break them up, you can, cause, and I'm, what I did was I placed all the ingredient, ingredient, Jesus. Anyway, I put all the, uh, pieces, um, the mustard, the, uh, summer sausages. I think I had the crackers here, the summer sausage, and then like the small pieces up here. I think I had the mustard, the jelly, and it was something else. Hmm. But they had a lot of pieces. And when I picked up, I think I picked up maybe 30 because that was ringing up for a penny. Now, for those who don't know, Family Dollar is owned by Dollar Tree. Now, you could never walk into a Dollar Tree and find any penny items because it just didn't work like that. But ever since they bought them out and started, it, it, it looks like they have started merging like their behind the scenes uh, computer stuff. So now you can walk into a Dollar Tree and randomly every now and then find something for a penny. And they sell it because they don't know, you know. And I did, I was a store manager for Dollar Tree for 12 years. And I know we never had anything for a penny when I was there. Now, I've been gone about 10 years too. But I found a lot of those. I think I showed those to y'all. Let me see. The Sassy, the Sassy and Sheet, these with the white packaging, these was ringing up for a penny in the Dollar Tree. When I say I left loads of them as well, I left loads of these. Now this, I haven't, and yes, I have seen some still in stores this year, and yes, they're still ringing up for a penny. So I don't know if that's a glitch or whatever the issue is, but I do know it had to be something where Family Dollar was marking them out and clearing them out because the little, I can show that to you too. Let me show you. Put this right here at my hands. Um, these were from Family Dollar, and they was running fifty cent, and I'm and then they pinned on out, right? So, if you come across any of these with that white packaging, check them out. And see if they still a penny. Now, I wouldn't suggest just like with Dollar General. I wouldn't suggest going up there and say, "Oh, well, I heard these was a penny, but just scan it. Look at the monitor." If it ring up a penny, keep letting it go. But if it don't, oh, I, I don't want that because they know how to just take it right on off, okay? Okay? I want you to pay attention how that just went. Scan, let them scan one. Make sure you're paying attention. If it ring up a penny, keep it moving. Keep adding all of them. If they don't, oh, that's all right. I changed my mind. Take that off. That's all you have to do. Easy peasy. Don't alert nobody to nothing. I'm just trying to tell you, okay? But anyway, back to this. I used the small cutting boards that Dollar Tree had. And I made sure boards, and I had them on the back. And then I had the cider. 
I had the stemless wine glass, and then I had like a little eye mask in there as well. And that's what I did as a concept. And I think I, I want to say I sold those for like either 29 or 39. It was one of them. Now, I'm, if I if it was 39, I know I probably added like a mini little bubble bath, like from Bath and Body Works, because I do get the little mini bubble, bubble baths and I do add those to my concept. So it was probably 39 with the bubble bath added in there. Okay. So it's just a thought. You know, it's a thought you can break these apart and use that in your box concept. Uh, and if not, don't. Okay. But keep them together. Now, what is a good use for these? Well, of course, I'm going to be doing some men gifts with these for the barbecue. I think that will be really nice. <sighs> like I say, I'm on the hunt for a couple of things. But when we get to the men's pieces, you're going to see what I'm doing it with. So, just FYI, these are still out there. They're ringing up $0.75. Cents. They are worth it. If you, um, housewarming gifts, perfect, uh, birthday gifts, perfect, because, uh, you don't know who have what, like I have some cutting boards, but I really like this size, uh, cause it's, I think it's going to be easier to store. So I'm actually going to keep me one. I'm going to get my daughter one because her and her, um, her husband, both of them, my oldest daughter and my youngest daughter both of them won because you can't go wrong with having a bamboo uh cutting board and just make sure y'all take care of them with what is it olive oil i think you need to you know after you clean them and you know to keep them uh from start splitting and all of that i don't know y'all do the research i don't like to cook so cooking it won't be one of those things you information you be getting from me you got to eat to live, but I ain't no cooker. I, I know how to cook. I just don't like to cook. Two different things, y'all. Two different things. Okay, y'all. So, let's move on to the second thing. See that, y'all? <laughs> yeah, your girl go crazy. But let me explain. They have a lot of colors. I didn't even know they had this many colors until I came to another store and they actually had the um, the purple and the pink. I didn't even know that. The store that I first bought some from just had these two colors. So I actually thought that was the only two colors out there. But no. Now, y'all, the gray has snowflakes on it, okay? The pink the in the yellow, I mean the pink and the purple, they have like the stars and stuff. And this is like a pastel pink. But if y'all remember, oh, okay, here they go. This is, I'm gonna jump just to show you the connection. The slipper, the pants. You're welcome. <laughs> Y'all, but only the pink, um, no, the green. Well, this, see, this is the thing. This is, to me, this is, this is like a turquoise. I know it's looking like they almost close. Maybe it's my vision, but this is more like a green. And this kind of gives me turquoise vibes, you know. But, like, when you're looking at it like this, well, now you can see. More light, you can see. So, I was disappointed because in my mind, I was saying, oh, here you go. You know, and it will be for the pink, but, like, and I know everybody don't like pink. So, that's why I was saying I was really disappointed that this wasn't a green because you want to give them choices. And I think I picked up, uh, oh, and I picked up this one, y'all. So this is the other thing in the women. I picked up the PJ bottoms. I know everybody been picking them up. I really was, y'all, I was really trying to wait until these drop to a dollar. Okay. I was really trying to wait till these drop to a dollar. But everybody, all the consumers, it's like they are stretching. 
their time frames from when how they used to mark down and drop, drop, drop to it's like they are stretching how long they run something for this. Because usually by now, these should have been a dollar and I would have been racking up. Okay. But I'm seeing that they not. And I'm also seeing that a lot of them is just starting to pull all of that product off the floor. So I need what I need to make my Christmas right. Right. Even if I just give me a good six, 12, 36, I'm good. But I'm going to run these, the gray ones with them. And then like that. Right. So that's my idea for those. Or I usually sell these and I sell these by these, their self as a concept with uh, like a little lotion or something like that. Or they're just paid. I have what I call like a plush area um, when I do Christmas. So these are individually sold as well. I am looking at maybe some stuff I can get away with putting in a package. Some stuff I just cannot. Uh, you know, they like these. I do hats, gloves. I do um, scarves. I do um, what else? I have to look at that list, honey. But it's really what I come across. I do robes, and I do the robes. The robes be in a box. That's why I always hit up Walgreens and CVS for that. And I know CVS got their 50% going off, y'all. Is going on now with their robes. So for those who are looking for, um, you know, robes, that's another place. Now they are twelve fifty. You know, I always suggest get your first six, and then if you can wait to see if it drops down to, you know, to the seventy five percent, then go get you some more, and then get a price adjustment. I'm just putting it out there. That's how I roll. I get my first six, and then I try to wait at least until you get to 75% off, okay? That's just my take on how I do it. Now, they have, like I said, they have all of these colors. So, these are ringing up $2. They are a good deal. I sell them like hotcakes at the holidays, and they are good tie-ins because let's say you didn't come across any house shoes. Well, I have a gray robe. I have the gray robes from Family Dollar. So I can put these with that and make it look like more. Even with my uh, Victoria's Secret robes, I could put these with this because I have... I actually have a celery green, The this like... It's not turquoise, but it's more like blue. And uh, that baby blue one, um, celery green. But I'm waiting to see what Victoria's bring for the semi-annual. So for those who don't know, semi-annual starts June the 3rd for Bath & Body Word. Sometimes Victoria's Secret start at the same exact day. And sometimes they like a day later or something like that. I haven't been in Victoria's Secret yet to... Uh, see when they when they say it, but I have been in Bath and Body Works, and they passing out flyers now with orders now, letting you know when semi annual is gonna get here. I personally, for semi annual, I only shop seventy five percent. Now, if I don't have a coupon, I'm fine with that. But I do like to, I prefer to have a coupon. But if I don't, I'm okay because I stay on nothing, I nothing but the seventy five percent off table. And for those who don't know, who don't shop semi-annual, um, if you don't have to have anything in particular, right? And that's me. I don't have to have anything in particular. I'm not blinded by, oh, I got to just have this color, this color, this color. It's whatever on 75% and I build from there. So what I come across and find, that's what I build from, okay? Not, oh, I just I just need purple, or I just need yellow, or I just need gray, or I just need that. No, mm-mm, that's not, I pick it up because you never know what's going to be your inspiration for those two particular pieces. You may come across, you know, something else somewhere else, and that, like, you know, that sparks the fire on what it is you can do that with. Some things I immediately know what I'm putting it with. Some things I do not. But as long as I'm finding them in two, shower gel, lotion, or lotion and spray, I'm good. 
because with lotions and sprays, I always used to do lotions and lotion and sprays with my um PJ bottoms. But this year for Mother's Day, I switched it up and I did the bubble bath and the oversized sponge with the side. So winter, of course, you know, we wear thicker things. Some of us prefer thicker, you know, pajamas and stuff like that. So these I feel like it's going to be an excellent tie-in to that, right? So, and with that mint green one, baby, we're going to have to figure out how to make that work, okay? So, I don't know if I'm going to do that. I might just put a lotion because I'm doing a more oversized sock. I don't know. But what I do know is getting it for the deal, I can mix and match later. I, I follow my core concept. I start getting that together first, and then everything else is just gravy on top. Uh, for those who live in Georgia, and that's not to say any other state, because a lot of other states do have the outlet. I have shared this before that I most definitely go to the outlet. I try to go, uh, now that I'm back out of the mall, I go at least once a week. Um, I even call down there just to say, hey, what y'all got new? They don't get trucks on Tuesdays, Saturdays, and Sundays. But the other four days, they get trucks at those other four days. Monday, Thursday, Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And usually, they start processing them out. So, once the truck is actually there, that's when they get the manifest and they know exactly what's in those boxes. So, what I try to do is, like, I know they get a truck in between 2 and 3-ish by 4 or 5. I'm calling and say, hey, what, anything new, you know, you getting in, you know, because if it say, hey, let me put my socks and shoes on, baby, and let me get on down there, because it's, I want some plus away from me, but I'm putting these socks and shoes on if y'all got some goodness, because I did share with y'all about me, you know, that's where I found a lot of my perfumes at, my perfumes from Bath and Body Works, for little or nothing. You know, some I, I catch in the stores for like 10 bucks, um, but I prefer them cheaper and I have came across them cheaper. So that having that knowledge all through the summer at the outlets, they push a lot of their Christmas, uh, last year's Christmas packaging. Because remember, Bath and Body Works do new packaging every year. So the, there's nothing wrong with the product. It's just new packaging. So what's going to start coming into the stores is going to be something new. So that's the things that you have to, you know, that's the things that, you know, you pay attention to. Because some people, you know, wonder like, well, is it ain't no good or some da-da-da or it got a short expiration date? No, it's all about the packaging. That's really what it is. Okay, so let's move on. These are also out there, y'all, and these were 50 cents, and you get two pair. And these were some Valentine heart. And remember, I got the Valentine PJ bottoms and shirts. So, see, I'm on the hunt for some more of these. I need at least about, I would say 12, because uh, <clears throat> the they had a red and red heart shirt <clears throat> and they had the pants so see these i always put socks for my pants so it's going to come in handy now another thing they have in there is the heat sense thermal insulated legs now y'all this is more for a me type item but i wanted to share it because if you are like me 90 percent of us love to just put on a pair of leggings and a t-shirt and keep it moving right and especially if you in the house and you wasn't uh you're cleaning and stuff and i ain't looking fancy trying to clean toilets and scrub floors okay i promise you i'm not so these are perfect to uh, slip on it is cooler in your house if you run in the air like we run in the air now i go through hot flashes so baby you see how these shoulders yeah mm -hmm. that's me i'm going through that stage right now but I got enough to give my daughter about three pair, my other daughter about three pair, and I'm keeping about three pair. My mother-in-law, she every now and then she she put some on, but it yeah yeah it's not like that. So these were more for a me type thing versus an actual gift making thing. But you can make a gift out of it, right? You can, you can, you. I, I promise you, you can. You can make a gift out of anything, anything. Okay, now these socks are out there too, y'all. They send the three dollar socks. These came in like a purple, uh, like a purple, 
a turquoisey minty green it had, you know one is like a stripe and one is a solid uh so they had three different kinds out there i have only now came across the purple and the gray but just know these are out there too two pack and i think these was ringing up for like a dollar so 50 cent a sock is not bad because I pay like a dollar twenty five, right? When we go to Dollar Tree and you need a sock for something for a concept. So this is a perfect something too, y'all. So that is the end of all the woman stuff. But I'm gonna share one more thing. Now these are out there too for the fifty cent, and they have the tall one. Now and they are heavy, y'all. They are nice and heavy. But what? Tell me what y'all think you could do with this. You let me know in the comments down below. What can you do with this? Okay? It's so much you could do with this. But I'm going to tell you what. I'm going to do with it. I, well, better yet, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with mine. Okay? I was, at first, when I was picking them up, really, I was thinking about my son. You know, because he had just got him a new place. Him and his good friend. And I was saying, like, oh, he need, but he said they got some glasses. So I started thinking, well, let me go ahead and share. So that way, if you're looking, you're looking. Y'all, these could be like whiskey decanters. Uh, well, whiskey glasses, right? To go with you, um, Dollar, not Dollar Tree, but with this uh, Bath and Body Works. They're going to have whiskey reserve. They got that bourbon. Remember, these are these men gifts. You can put you one of these and see how it look. It'd be perfect for a man's gift. You can put in that. Now, I'm going to show you the one. This is from Dollar Tree, y'all. It say whiskey. And it had like that old house like they, you know, where they um, making the whiskey or whatever. But these are at Dollar Tree, right? I hope y'all can see these. but And there's a lot of them out now. Now, when I was looking for them, you couldn't even find them. Now, I say that to say this. Um, Rose, not roses, Ross usually come out. TJ Maxx usually come out. And Marshalls usually come out with a whiskey barrel. The whisk, And even uh, Walgreens. Because where I got my whiskey barrels from is Walgreens. But I got my own cleaners, y'all. So remember the investment, you know, it, that's why, you know, I'm a year ahead of when I actually need it, okay? But I'm going to put mine with that Bath & Body Works Whiskey Reserve, which is uh, body wash and a lotion. And then I'm going to do the whiskey, uh, two whiskey glasses. And I'm going to do, uh, so it's the Whiskey Burl. The two whiskey glasses. Um, it was something else. Uh, and the two pieces. Because with me and gifts, and I know we all on the internet and we all let, you know, just FYI, and especially for our new babies that's coming here. Welcome all of y'all who are doing, getting into the basket making community. It is amazing. It's addicting, y'all. We all going to have to start a class because it's addicting. Out here getting these clearance deals, it's addicting. But the beauty of being out here in these streets looking for all of these amazing clearance items is converting that product over to making cash, to make money using that product to make you baskets, to give, to give as birthday gifts. Some people give it as donations. So it's a plethora of things that you could do with it but it's uh, it's amazing that it also can make you money by pulling it together and selling it as a gift concept and that's that's a good thing so don't let because sometimes people can you know deter you from getting into this particular type of business because they always want to say oh well you're spending more than what you're making not if you're pricing right and not if you're shopping right. If you are shopping right, then you will see a better profit. And yes, that profit can pay your bills. This is all I do. This is Well, I mean, I do other stuff, but this is like the bulk of what I do. So I'm saying all that. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank y'all again for watching. And I will see y'all in the next one. Bye-bye.